Welcome everybody to the New Orleans Saints franchise on Madden 24. Our journey with this franchise begins now. We'll play our first game against the Tennessee Titans kicking off the 2023 season. Welcome to the brand new series everyone. I've been excited to get this underway. I think there are a lot of challenges ahead of us here in this series. But we honestly start out with a pretty good roster for 2023 as this team has essentially gone all in, bringing in Derek Carr and restructuring every contract possible to prepare this team for success in 2023, even if the future is really uncertain. We're missing our star running back Alvin Kamara the first three weeks of the year, so Jamal Williams is going to be replacing him after a tremendous year in Detroit. But this team's superstar, I believe going forward, is Chris Olave, the second year wideout from Ohio State to put up over 1,000 yards as a rookie and is a dynamic big play threat. Michael Thomas is back and healthy for the first time really since 2019. We'll see what he still has left in the tank, but at his peak, he was one of the best and most consistent receivers in the league. We've got some really good players along this offensive line, mainly Ryan Ramchek, the right tackle, who's been one of the better tackles in the league now since he joined, and center Eric McCoy, who's only 26 years old. These two are really strong starters. Defensively, it's an odd unit, but I think a good one. Marshawn Lattimore is a very good number one corner. You gotta have one in this league where there are so many great receivers. This team, though, relies on a lot of 30-plus-year-old veterans to help them out. They're the best players here outside of Lattimore. Demario Davis has been one of the best linebackers throughout his career in New Orleans. Cam Jordan's 34 years old and still plays at a high level. Both safeties are north of 30. This defense is really looking for that next defensive breakout, and maybe we'll get it from a couple of these rookies. Here's Clemson rookie, defensive tackle Brian Brissy, and Notre Dame edge rusher Isaiah Foskey. We're asking both of these players to contribute as rookies, and we're hoping they can make a big impact. On the back end, Tyron Matthew, the versatile safety slot corner hybrid. He's been playing at a high level for a long time, an extremely entertaining player. Excited to have him in this franchise. Looking at the Saints roster, and our outlook for this year, I think we can have a good deal of success this year. It's the future beyond 2023 that I have questions about. So my expectation is to go and win this division, the weak NFC South, with our weaker schedule. And we'll see if we can get off to a good start here against the Tennessee Titans, a team that's got a fair amount of flaws, but they too have kind of gone aggressive on a, a mid-tier quarterback. They brought in DeAndre Hopkins this year, but I'm still expecting this to be a Derrick Henry-led offense as one of the best running backs in the NFL. But being that we're in franchise, our goal is to draft, develop, and turn this team into something special down the road. So I've already got my eyes on a few key players to focus on here in year one. And we already talked a little bit about Brian Brissy and Isaiah Foskey. I think that defensively, it all starts up front, generating pressure on the quarterbacks and making things difficult on the running game to create those forced-to-pass situations. And also on the offensive side, I really want to see Chris Olave become the best receiver he can. I think he's got a tremendously high ceiling. He's a good route runner. He's a smooth receiver, big play threat, but a threat really at all levels of the field. And the offense, as far as I'm concerned, really runs through him. But there are going to be a lot of role players contributing. I'm excited to see who ends up standing out. I've been a big Jawan Johnson fan for a while. I think this team can get by with a mostly average offense because their defense should be pretty strong if they stay healthy. I'm expecting the teams in our division to be weaker, and if we can punish them with good defense and enough offense, I feel like we can go win the NFC South this year. We'll see if it works out that easily. Welcome to the 2023 season, everybody. It's time to get this series underway with our first game. 
And we've got a long road ahead of us. If you want to be a part of it, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you're excited for the start of this series. And thank you to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. More on them at halftime. But let's get the action underway. We're going to see the defense up first as the rookie Blake Group gets us underway in the Superdome. Chris Moore takes it out of the end zone and gets hit down by the rookie A.T. Perry. And that'll bring out Ryan Tannehill. I think he might be wearing a couple flak jackets there. He is padded up, ready to go as he leads out this Tennessee offense. Derrick Henry in the backfield and now... The great DeAndre Hopkins is out wide. And the Titans get underway with their running game. And Derrick Henry with a good burst. But check the flag. This one is coming back with a holding call. Brian Brissy and Isaiah Foskey were the Saints' first two draft picks this year. And wide open is Traylon Burks with a great catch. Reaching out, hauling in the 24-yarder. First down, Tennessee. Ball out to the 39. Tannehill, plenty of time. And eventually breaking open, there is DeAndre Hopkins. who used to do this kind of thing to the Titans as a member of the Texans. I am concerned, as Demario Davis is already getting in his face, of our pass rush this year. I don't think we have that premier rusher yet. How quickly is that player going to emerge? Henry, hit back, and stop for a loss. Granderson was the first one there. Davis makes the tackle. On second down, Henry gets it again and is going nowhere. Davis gets in the mix once again, and that'll bring up third down. We've had a fair amount of injuries affect this team going into the year, and on top of that, no Alvin Kamara for three games. Third and a dozen now for Tannehill, and he's under pressure and taken down by the former Jet, Nathan Shepard. Nice to see a drive-ending sack taking them out of field goal range. So let the Derek Carr era in New Orleans begin. Carr signed a four-year, $150 million contract, and his cap number's low this year. It spikes immediately next year. And he opens play fake on his first snap and takes a shot deep downfield that is caught by Olave! Down in Tennessee territory, 62 right out the gate. Gotta take a shot. Derek Carr showing off the big arm with Olave getting behind the defense. And there could be a lot of that with his speed. You want to stress those safeties downfield. Already into the red zone. And handoff going to Jamal Williams, but there's Jeffrey Simmons. He's elite. Ball at the 14. It's a fake to Williams. And there is the former Raider, Foster Moreau, on the catch. He makes the play for a gain of about six. And that'll bring up third down. Taysom Hill is in the game, and Derek Carr scans, and he's got Thomas for the touchdown. It's a four-play drive. Derek Carr, touchdown pass number one, and it's great to see Michael Thomas back in the end zone once again. That is as good of an opening drive as I think you could hope for. Seeing Carr go three for three, get three different players involved, and now the rookie group. Hits the extra point, and it's a 7-0 start here in New Orleans. For Michael Thomas, that is just his fourth touchdown since 2019. And the Titans will take over in a split backfield for Tannehill. And he lobs this one in perfectly for Chig Okonkwo, the second-year tight end. Kind of attacking this secondary right out the gate. Tannehill protected again. And a Conquo's open. Again, there's no one around Tannehill. He's making these throws from very clean pockets. They're putting eight in the box, though. Not running it, though, with Henry. And Tannehill across the middle. That's well covered. And that was broken up by Paulson Adebo. I'm hoping for Adebo to break out this year. Is that number two next to Lattimore? 
Short gain now for Derrick Henry as he's still at about zero total yards. Third down now. Tannehill needs the 30 and the pass broken up by Demario Davis. He can patrol the middle with the best of them and he knocked that loose. So they bring out Nick Folk. This is a 55 yard try and he pushed it wide left. The kick is no good and the Saints will take over. And we go off set eye. Taysom Hill is the fullback slash quarterback slash running back slash everything else. Dumped off Jamal Williams. That'll be Kamara catching those in a few weeks. We go third down. Titans get aggressive. And they get to Carr. He's hit from behind. And it's incomplete. And that'll bring out the punt team for New Orleans. And here is the rookie the 30-year-old from Miami, Lou Headley. Booming away his first NFL punt. It's let go. Takes a bounce, and it rests at the one. How about that for your intro to the NFL? Shout out to Lou Headley. Tannehill making adjustments here. We got him inside the one-yard line. Tannehill back to pass. Make sure to stay in play, and he lofts it in there to Burks. And they immediately get a big gain and away from their own end zone. I'm impressed so far with the Tennessee passing game. It is a fake on second down. There's Hopkins. That was a little behind him. I thought we might make a play there. But he's got some of the best hands in the last decade of NFL action. Out to the 47 here quickly as they get Henry the ball. And he will take it up ahead for a first down. Slow start running the football, but you're still worried every time he gets it. Now we got him in the backfield. Well played by Cam Jordan. Uh, we got a player down here. This is Zach Bon, the linebacker. Not a lot of linebacker depth on this team, so that could be a situation to keep an eye on. Another one for Henry. Gets to the edge and is taken out of bounds by Marcus May. There's 12 yards on the ground so far for Henry. And Tennessee to the air on a third down. Tannehill underneath. Henry kept his balance and reached forward, but he did not get the first down. Really good effort. A decision to make now for Tennessee. And it looks like Zach Bond's going to be all right. And they trot out Nick Folk once again. Now it's a little bit shorter and he's got this one, putting the Titans on the board. And it's 7-3. First quarter about wrapped up as the Saints take over. No rushing yards yet for them. Carr back to pass and quickly taken down. James Hurst just learned what Jeffrey Simmons is all about. He ends up on his back. Simmons makes the play in record time. Long third down, last play of the opening quarter. Carr slides right, lobs it out in front for Olave, and it's fourth down. Again, pressure impacting the throw, and we're through one here in New Orleans. Tennessee ball at their own 34, going up the gut, maybe redirecting, but Davis is there regardless to make the play. If you watch that back, that's such a great play by Davis. He took on the fullback and still had a tackle for loss. Third down. And it's swung out to Henry, and with too much space in the flats, he will have enough. And Tennessee gets a conversion. Continue to be impressed here with the Titans passing game. Henry grinding, but not much room there. Saints have had a good run defense now for a couple years. Both these teams have been very strong in that department. Third down. Caught by Hopkins. The chains move again. And Tannehill is now 10 of 13. Three catches for New Hopkins. Into Saints territory once more. Tannehill looks outside, and it's broken up. Okonkwo couldn't handle it. They've had a lot of third downs on this area of the field. Needing 10. With time, it's Okonkwo shy of the marker. And we'll see if they just bring out Folk again, and they will. This is already his third attempt of 50-plus. From 50, it's good, and he's hit his last two. 
Now a one-point game. So the Saints had a good idea out the gate with their opening drive and haven't done much since. They'll run on first down. Jamal Williams quickly gets surrounded. This is a very strong run defense led by Jeffrey Simmons up front. Facing third down, Carr scanning. Downfield, knocked away from the receiver, Rashid Shahid. And that was tight coverage across the board. Saints not letting their offense really get into a rhythm at all as Tennessee's got it again. Back into Saints territory with Hopkins. The last four drives have all gotten into Saint territory. And with six and change to go in the second quarter. Here's Tannehill. Aconquo caught it. Gets the first down. 14 of 20 for nearly 200 yards in the air. Still seeing Tannehill get pretty clean pockets. Got one here again. And the catch made by Chris Moore, the former Texan. And they crossed the 25-yard line. So their furthest drive to this point Henry now on the carry, gets the first down, and is brought down. Seems like the best drive they've been putting together, as this defense has seen the field quite a bit. A fake now, and the underneath throw is caught by Trayvon Wesco. It's a five-yard pickup. Tennessee trying to figure out how to finish this one off. Henry's got it right up the gut into the end zone. He caps it off. I think this defense just needs a rest. Tennessee has been putting together decent drives and now they finally get their best and they've scored 13 unanswered. So can New Orleans now control the remainder of this half? They'll call the number of Taysom Hill now as he checks in for a gain of eight. There's always the option of using him for a quick change up to the offense. Car back in there, and Williams falls ahead, just barely moving the sticks. But we're inside two minutes now, and Tennessee brings the pressure. Car fires, got Olave in the middle of the field. First down, but I think he's a little shaken up on the play. And now the Saints might be without him for this two-minute drill. But a nice job getting away from the pressure and firing this one back to the middle. Now Rashid Shahid and Thomas are the two receivers. Car scans and led Shahid too much, incomplete. Still a minute 47 on the clock. Car second down. It is a catch. And the sixth round rookie, A.T. Perry, checks in. And now we got Jamal Williams down. So this team, already without Kamara, is now missing Jamal Williams and Olave in this two-minute drill. Not an easy situation. Carr, complete to Thomas. Flying across the middle for a first down. Saints keep driving regardless of who's out there, who's not. Looks like Williams should be back, but now replaced by Kendra Miller. Carr steps up, and Danico Autry will bring him down. Thomas slot left facing a long second down. And Carr lobs it out. He wants Thomas. And it's broken up by Roger McCreary. Very impressive play. And it's third down. They've got to get around the 10. They handle the blitz well. And it's caught. Shahid holds it in. He's down to the three. Goal to go. Saints have no timeouts. They snap it at 16, pressure bearing down, caught by Miller, touchdown, New Orleans. The first touch in the career of Kendra Miller is a receiving touchdown. And the third round rookie is already finding a way to help this team out. Excellent job at the goal line, making sure he crosses the plane. Don't want to catch that and be down at the one. The Saints have retaken the lead. We got one play left. Could see a Hail Mary or maybe a stat patter out of Tannehill. And the first half is wrapped up. The Saints bookend the first half with two scoring drives but couldn't do much in between. Still, they got touchdowns and they lead this one. I like to see us run the football a bit better and we've got to do more to pressure Ryan Tannehill. 
One matchup I'm keeping an eye on is down in Atlanta with the Falcons and the Panthers, currently a Falcons 10-6 lead. I want to see who our top competition this year is. I'd also like to thank Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring today's video. I was enjoying playing on Underdog before they ever reached out to me. I worked with them last year and now again this NFL season. But this is an excellent fantasy sports site where you can play pick'ems across a variety of sports. Battle Royale is a fun format, best ball. There's a lot of stuff to enjoy on Underdog. I had some good plays last week. I really liked that Seattle-Detroit game. Really liked Keenan Allen and Nico Collins. I also had a decent Battle Royale team. I'm playing different stuff on here every week. And if you'd like to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use the promo code KANE and they'll match your first time deposit up to $100. Link down below in the description. And let's get into our second half now. We got things underway with a big deep shot to Chris Olave. I'm sure that play call doesn't surprise too many of you, but there won't be another one as Olave with a bruised sternum is going to miss the remainder of this game. That gives us a challenge now to put together a better offense without our top playmaker. Getting the second half underway, Jamal Williams has taken off his feet and does not go far. If we're going to hold, can we at least, like, create a running lane? Second down and 18 now for Carr. And with tight coverage, Shahid made the catch. Yeah, it's going to be tough on this passing game to see who can separate now without Olave. And there's the catch. That's the rookie, A.T. Perry. He's holding his second. And it looks like he'll get more chances now without Olave in the game. Handoff Williams slips a tackle. That's like our best run so far. You'd ideally find a lot more balance in this second half. Tennessee brings pressure. Carr lofting too far for Shahid. The pressure was there once again. Caesar Ruiz gives it up to Autry. And Carr just let him a bit too far. Tennessee will take over now at their own 23. A fake from Tannehill. He's got his eyes downfield. And it's knocked away by Tyron Matthew. That was really good coverage across the board. Trying to get this defense off the field quickly. An inside give. With room, it's a first down for Derrick Henry. We were not expecting that one. They got three tight ends out there now. A heavy run look. And surprise, it is a run. Henry again is stuffed. You got to like the effort out of guys like Pete Werner, Cam Jordan, Brian Brissy. Third down, and it's right over Davis and caught by Moore. Tannehill's made a few of those really good throws right over defenders. He's throwing with touch. This is the best he's looked in years. This one is not handled by Burks, and again, Davis is in the area. We force another third down. With them back into plus territory, Tannehill fires off the mark. Shepard got through and gave him just a little hint of pressure, and that's going to get us the football back. Taken over at our own six-yard line now. Taysom Hill, the fullback, leads the way for a short gain. Autry on the tackle. They line up all three receivers now on the left side with Johnson detached and Carr brought down back at the one. Ruiz having trouble with Danico Autry and the protection on Carr has been shaky at best. Lou Headley booms this one out of the end zone. Chris Moore fielded at his shoelaces and takes it back into St. Territory where they've run an unfortunate amount of plays. But thankfully, we have done well to slow down Derrick Henry. It's just become the Ryan Tannehill show. He fires. Caught by a Conquo. Short gain. They're spreading the defense out now. They're calling plays here with a lot of confidence in Tannehill. And it's through the hands of a Conquo who would have had a first down. But they're going to keep the offense on the field now. Really showing their confidence in how they're playing. 
fourth and four. Pressure's there. Henry's got the first, and he gets more. How about the balance of Derrick Henry? That is an impressive play. Right at the marker, he makes the catch, but he's not just there to move the sticks. That's never been Derrick Henry's game. It's all about the extra yardage other running backs wouldn't get. Titans at the 20. Pass is up in the air, and it is incomplete. I think Burks kicked that one up, but nobody was there to catch the rebound. Brings up a third down. Tannehill downfield and knocked down. Demario Davis, he's been everywhere doing everything. And the Titans will bring on the field goal team. Short one this time for Folk. 37 yards and a hand was on it. And it is no good. The kick is no good. I don't know how to play this one off, guys. It's EA shenanigans in the first game. He tipped it. It still goes through the uprights, but it's no good, okay? I can't do anything about it. A blocked field goal gives it back to the Saints up by one. They run it with Williams, and he gets a decent push and a gain of five. A minute 38 to play in the third. Car back to pass, and not on the same page there. This passing game just has not been in sync for most of the day. Looking for a conversion, third and five, and caught first down, Jawan Johnson. And that was some sticky coverage. Impressive play. The running back now is Miller. Gets his first NFL carry and all kinds of room. And it's the best run so far for New Orleans with a lead block by Taysom Hill. There's Hill in motion again. They run the counter. It's Miller again, out across the 30. Kendra Miller has already sparked this running game. He's equaled what Jamal Williams has. Now they fake it to him. Carr in trouble, and he's sacked. Titans ready for that one. It's third down now, and they have to get at least a little bit for field goal range, you'd assume. And it is dropped by Rashid Shahid. Carr put it on him. Not the best throw, but Shahid's got to catch this. He falls on the ball instead, and they're going to bring out the rookie here in a tough spot. 57 yards. Group gets it up on its way. Off the crossbar and denied. Just missed this one. And the Titans are going to take over now. Still trailing by one, but again, good field position. Henry works his way across midfield. Falls ahead as he always does. Aconquo's a little shaken up, though, and he's been a pretty key player for them today. Third and four. Nice route and catch. Traylon Burks feels like he's taking that next step here in this first game. Tannehill with time. Lobs it too far. If that's a Conquo, his speed puts him right under that ball. Tannehill just missed. Third down. Need the 30. It's dished out to Moore, and he won't get there. The Saints continue to force stops at this area of the field, and Folk's going to come out again, really earning that paycheck this week. And he puts it up and through from 51. And the Tennessee Titans have recaptured the lead. 16-14. The Saints, 10-32 left to go. They got Miller in the game, running up the middle. It's a gain of four. The rookie's got everybody's attention. It's a fake. Heavy pressure on Carr, and he's intercepted! Roger McCreary spins away! Touchdown, Tennessee! And the Titans have extended their lead. Carr panics under pressure as Simmons was not biting on that fake. And in desperation, he tried to get it out to Johnson and was better off just taking the sack. The Titans now have the biggest lead of the game. It's a two-score contest. And we've got under 10 minutes to play. A fake now, and on the move, Carr is picked again! Sean Murphy bunting! 
Another short field for Tennessee. Imploding on these last two plays. Carr needs to stay in the pocket and not try to make the hero throw in this case. Tennessee ball on third down. Henry gets it, tries the outside, and is caught by Davis. And they'll bring out Folk again. This is his seventh field goal try, okay? 36 yards out, and it's good. But the Titans lead by two scores. I don't think the Saints can handle another Derek Carr interception. Things started out working great, not so much since the Olave injury. Thomas takes a hard hit, but he holds on. Third down and five, Williams in the game, helping pass protect as Carr lofts it for Perry. And he brings it up close to midfield for the first down. Perry had over 2,000 yards and 26 touchdowns over his last two years at Wake Forest. Now Carr overthrows Thomas. He's had really inconsistent accuracy with pressure without in this game. Carr's going deep again, and it's caught by Shahid. Out of bounds at the 20. How about the hands on that one? Shahid extends the drive. Saints in the red zone, they need points. First and 10, Carr outside, and that's Williams getting a block. And out of bounds with nine. Shahid to the right side, second down. Williams gets the first, grinding his way inside the five. Just 27 yards though on his 11 carries. How can they finish this drive? Blitz is on. Car floating. Miller there. Can't make the catch. Almost had his second receiving touchdown. And that's going to bring up third down. Car scanning. Gets it out. Off the mark for Rashid Shahid. He's just not quite on the same page yet with these receivers. And it's now a critical fourth down. And they need this play to have a chance. Car back to pass. Throws for the touchdown. It's Michael Thomas with his second touchdown grab of the day. Thomas had a multi-touchdown game back in week one of last year against the Falcons. And he starts off with a pair here against the Titans. We're back to a one-score game. Under four minutes to go. Can the defense get the ball back? With a full back in, Henry tries the left side, has the edge, and he's brought out of bounds after getting first down yardage. At least the clock stops. Now two tight ends in the game. Tannehill looking to throw. It is incomplete for Burks. He couldn't hold on to it. Clock stays stopped. Now they're going empty. Henry's a receiver on this play. Tannehill contorts his body, finds Burks, and it's a first down. Well played by Ryan Tannehill. Back into St. Territory, and with a first down throw, it gets knocked away by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. I'm surprised they're not just pounding the running game here. Tannehill drifting on second down. That's not going to get much, if anything. Saints call a timeout, and that's their last remaining. Now for the most critical third down of the day. Tannehill to the air. Has time. Now runs out, and he throws it away. Finally created some pressure, and the Saints will have this football again. But they are going to trot out Folk again for another field goal try. It's a 59-yarder. From right hash, the kick is no good. He pushed it left again. So on top of the miss, good field position for New Orleans. They still need the touchdown. They have no timeouts. Car in the gun on first and 10. Back to pass, completes to Thomas. Good start. It will go no huddle. 2.17 to go now in the game. Carr into traffic, but caught. It's A.T. Perry holding on. And he's really leaving a strong impression. First and 10. Complete to Perry. Outruns Christian Fulton, and he gets the first down. 
What a debut. Perry was not expected to really play today. Now he's playing a key role. First down, Carr, lofting, Thomas caught it! Out of bounds at the three! A perfect connection from Derek Carr to Michael Thomas. Here it is one more time. He does get both feet in bounds. The Saints are two and a half yards out. Run it with Williams, and he is stopped after a short gain. They'll let this clock roll now inside 60 seconds. And we got movement on the right side. False start, Cesar Ruiz. That's going to back him up to the seven. They go with two receivers on second down, and the dump off to Taysom Hill is incomplete. Covered by Kevin Byard. And it brings up third and goal. Car to the air. He gets it away, back corner, overthrowing Foster Moreau, who had a chance. But there was heavy pressure getting around left tackle, Trevor Penning. And now we're down to one final play. Fourth and goal from the seven. Gotta have it here. Two receivers and two tight ends on the field. Carr throwing off the mark for Thomas. Incomplete. Not even close. And that's going to turn it over to the Titans. And the Saints are going to drop their opening game. He tried to give him a chance and just put it in the worst spot. Mike Vrabel's team holds on, winning ugly in the end. And the Saints drop a game that feels very winnable. They had two fourth quarter interceptions, couldn't finish that drive. And it overall just wasn't the cleanest game from start to finish. With Derek Carr completing only 48% of his passes. I overestimated his arm talent and how much he could get on those passes with those interceptions. So those can't be happening. We didn't run the football well in a tough matchup, but I felt like Kendra Miller gave us a little more juice. And I also liked what I saw from A.T. Perry. It was tough to try to win this game playing without Chris Olave for much of it. We got close, couldn't play clean enough. So the Saints open the year 0-1. That's a tough one. That field goal, by the way, I've never seen that in Madden. Clearly we blocked it, but I don't think the game ever accounted for a partial block where a kick is still good. I think if a block is triggered, they just say it's no good, man. They're not even tracking the ball at that point. What's going on? Thankfully, Olave is not going to miss any more time, but it already hurt to not have him for four quarters today. But I think that in the next two weeks, I want a deeper look at Kendra Miller. This team doesn't have a running back of the future, and we're relying on two 28-year-old running backs, which is not a situation most teams are in. I love to see Miller. I felt like he had a little more juice than Jamal Williams. And I know his speed is only two more. Acceleration is one more. But if you think about it, they don't use the entire 0 to 100 scale. Like anything below an 80 is pretty much non-existent. So every point there matters. A.T. Perry, I thought, you know, did a great job in traffic. Got open on some plays. I think he's a little more polished than Rashid Shahid. And Shahid's great in certain, like, isolated downfield spots, but I think Perry is a better route runner, has better catch in traffic, and should be used for more of the conventional receiver stuff. And we can try that out, I think, going up against Carolina and working him in more, because he might be someone to keep an eye on. Today opened my eyes. I did see some feedback on the previous video to think about developing him, and I think we will be. Now, we're going to save this part mainly for next episode with the scouting, but I have chosen our focuses for this year, and my goal, as we only have a first, second, fifth, and sixth round picks, I really want to see if we can find an impact defensive player. This team needs to get younger on that side, and I'd like to put us in a position to replace guys like Demario Davis and Cam Jordan, so I have my eyes on the best defensive talent in this year's draft class. But that's going to do it for week one. Next time we take on the Carolina Panthers, hoping we can bounce back.
And that's going to do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the first game of the Saints franchise. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this kind of video. Again, please leave a like if you enjoyed and are excited for more to come here in the Saints franchise. And I will see you all in week two. Have a great day.